all right guys so as you're seeing right now i have the wd black sn 770 2 terabytes gen 4 m.2 ssd so i got this to upgrade my laptop in order to get some extra storage and we are going to be installing this ssd in my lenovo lock 14 gen i7 laptop let's start up with the process so first of all let's start off by removing the phillips screws from their respective locations so make sure you keep the each screw corresponding to its own place so that you don't miss out or you mismatch the screws which sometimes can lead to problems later on so some screws are shorter some are longer so you need to make sure that you insert back the proper screw in its proper location and that's why it's important that you keep the screws at the similar locations from where you have removed them so that you don't get confused later on and that might cause some sort of a damage to the laptop one two three four five six seven eight so we have a total of 10 screws here are the last remaining two there you go. all the 10 screws have now been removed it's time to take out the panel all right so i've removed the back panel so here is what it looks like when you open that up so let's keep it on the side here so as you can see here are the cooling fans the ram slots the battery and a empty slot for the m.2 ssd so here's the smaller sized ssd already pre-inserted by lenovo so this is of one tb space so the first thing which you need to do before you actually upgrade or do any sort of a tinkering around within the laptop is that you need to disconnect the battery from the main motherboard unit so this is a very important step and you need to follow this but before we actually disconnect the battery let's quickly take a look at the 2tb wd black ssd which i just got let's open that up so as you can see this is the wd black sn 772 terabyte ssd so on the back you get a user guide let's keep it here and here is the main ssd 2 terabyte sn 770 wd black m.2 pci gen 4 so the attachment screw is already present within the laptop so i don't need any extra additional screw let's keep the ssd within its place and first disconnect the battery from the main motherboard unit another thing to note is that guys whenever you're trying to disconnect the battery never hold the wires only hold the edges of the attaching adapter if you ever try to remove the battery by holding the wires it might get disconnected or there might be some sort of a fault and that might lead to your battery going off and not connecting to the motherboard so it's very important that you hold the battery connection via two opposite sides and never hold it via the main wires itself let's try and quickly take it out all right so the battery is now disconnected from the main motherboard and it's safe to like upgrade any of the accessories which we might want to upgrade first let's change the screw head back to the phillips screw head and open up the screw right here so now removing the screw from the ssd slot let's just gently remove that screw all right so here is the 2tb western digital ssd right here let's insert it into the ssd slot gently align the ssd and push it inside the holder there you go it's pushed in press the other end take the ssd screw and place it back to its original place you can take the help of the screwdriver because these attachments are very small so your fingers might not be very helpful in such cases so once the screw is inserted tighten the screw so that it holds the ssd firmly in its place now once that's done basically you just install the ssd into the laptop so the next thing which you need to do is plug back the battery connection to its port there it is the battery is connected so let's go back over. so you need to hear the clicking sound which goes with these covers let's 
let's put back the screws and tighten the back cover now since i had kept the screws close to the corresponding place where they go in it's easy for me to recognize which screw goes where and it hardly leads to any confusion so if you're trying to do the same just keep the screws right next to the place where they will go back in and that's going to help you avoid any confusion later on which is actually problematic if you do get confused and you might end up putting the long screw in the short one or a short screw in the long slot don't let that happen all right all 10 screws are now fitted time to turn on the laptop and check for the installed ssd so i turned on the laptop and opened the pc folder but as you're seeing right now it only is currently displaying the stock ssd which was previously installed or pre-installed in the laptop and it's indicating as windows ssd there is no extra drive or hard disk space being shown in the pc app but that's not a thing to worry all you need to do is follow these steps head to the search bar at the bottom and search for computer management since i've already searched it it's currently visible in the start menu so once you find it click on the computer management and it will open up a new window within the computer management window click on the storage drop down menu within the storage menu you will find the disk management option so just click on that so once that is done as you're seeing on the screen right now it is currently displaying two disks disk 0 and disk 1 the disk 0 is the stock pre-installed ssd and disk 1 which is in black color band right now is the newly installed ssd and the size is being shown as 1863 gb and it says unallocated so all you need to do now is just right click on this unallocated space and click on new simple volume once you click on that a new wizard opens up click on the next button and within that Again, you have to select the kind of disk space you want to create for the volume size. You don't need to alter anything if you don't want to create a partition within that SSD. Just click on the next button. Once that's done, the next window opens up wherein you get an option to assign a drive letter. You can select a letter convenient to you using the drop down menu present there. Following that, once selected, click on the next button. Now in the next window, you get the option to format a particular partition. So as you can see right now, it says format the volume with the following settings. File system selected as NTFS allocation unit size should be default and volume label. You can write down any name or any particular identification which you want to identify that particular drive with. So I will just change the volume label to data. Make sure that a perform a quick format is selected and then click on the next button. Then click on the finish button. The drive gets formatted and the partition is now created and as you can see the blue line has appeared on the disk one now if i minimize and open up the pc window there you go as you're seeing right now the data d drive with two terabyte of space is now visible in the my computer or the pc window and you have your brand new ssd working and installed properly opening up the properties it is showing you all the data which you need to know about this particular drive and within this it says it has free space of about 1.81 terabytes so now we have successfully installed and created the partition for the newly installed ssd and this is the same process which you need to follow if you to install a brand new ssd within your laptop 